Thanks for calling Kiss, Kiss, Kiss Kids Radio Time. My name is Peter. Can I get your name, please? We have a couple of special guests in the room today from WBIX Channel 11, who we are partnering with in this. We have Jim Watkins, anchor from the uh, 10 o'clock newscast, you, as well as Mr. Here. G, so a, weather, a weather professional who needs no introduction, but I just want you to know that he's here because you can't see him. <laughs> if, the, uh, if this was television, you would know who he is right away. They would have to crawl on. I think I got a friend. <laughs> I got a friend. <laughs> we uh, are, are, are happy to have a young man here, Michael. And uh, Michael is going to tell us his story. He's a, a patient. Are you still a patient of St. Jude or a former patient? I am a former patient. And actually, I just graduated from St. Jude on in January of this Congratulations year. Congratulations to you. Now, Michael, explain to everybody what ALL is. Uh, acute lymphoblastic lymphoma is a malignancy of the uh, lymph node system, which is a part of your immune system, which unfortunately when you have cancer of the lymph nodes or uh, the central nervous system, it's leukemia and it's everywhere in your body and it affects everything that you do. Um, by the time I got to St. Jude, I was kind of passing in and out of, of consciousness. The, the pain was pretty bad, but uh, they bring you in and they do their initial evaluation and amazingly some, uh, you know, Hours before, one facility was saying we can make them comfortable, and when you walk through the doors of St. Jude, they sit you down and they say, "Don't worry, everything's going to be okay." Oh, I know, it's just it's just such a, an amazing story, and, and really the the thing that I'm sure with a lot of people the story really takes off is what you just said that after getting the most dire of uh, of um, prospects, hearing about the most dire prospects from the one hospital, the first thing you heard was everything's going to be all right, mm -hmm. and, and over and above whatever the science is going on there, you know, the medical science is going on there. Just hearing that and the notion of thinking positively in that moment Absolutely. must have been a huge, must have been the first turning point. Would you say it is looking back? Yeah, I think a positive mental attitude is, is at least half of uh, your treatment. Uh, my, my question is uh, your parents, yeah. right? Uh, when they went to St. Jude's, what did they know about it? Were they were they fearful of costs? Were they fearful of all the things uh, that uh, that come into a parent's mind? My parents were versed in it in that uh, they knew of the facility. Um, it's an amazing place in that uh, I, you know I received over two million dollars of medical care mm. in my two and a half years, and I never was never asked for a dime. New York. Connecticut, New Jersey, I'm Fred Bugsy Bugs from 98.7 KISS FM. We just want to take time out to thank you for making this a reality. The third annual KISS Cares St. Jude Radio Vibe. And I'm Lenny Green. It's because of your efforts that this is going to go to the children and help to make more cures even more possible. 